Hmm. Hey, Twink, how could you, how would you feel about sneaking out here again? Shall we try? Princess Peach, you've gotten so bold. And here I thought you were gentle and delicate. Oh, I I am delicate? I'm behaving like a delicate princess, just like Miss, the ministers taught me to. I love to be delicate. Okay, okay, I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyway, let's go for it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. We finished Chapter 5, beat Lava Lava, Pir beat Lava Piranha, despite some lag during the fight that I only noticed from playing the Switch version. So, um... Yeah, so uh, in this part, we're going to hopefully sneak out, try to find some information on a Mario. Now, um... This is another opportunity if you never got any of the badges like uh, Power Rush or uh, Last Stand or any of that stuff or Deep Focus. Put that in the thing now. But um, your event, the later you get in the game, the the more the less chances you're gonna get to do that. Like um, let's just say. Now we don't really we don't really have anything to really put in that jar though. So why don't we um, see like um we already explored um. We already explored these two right areas and found nothing in them in previous chapters. So, um, plus that door to the entrance is locked. So, um, I guess we can go to the room where we can technically say Bob on Battlefield is because that's the only room we haven't been to. There's a guard. Oh, it's Princess Peach. How'd she get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip his wig as we're gonna take her back to her room. Now, hang on a second. Get a grip on yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. And besides, what do you think about asking for the seat to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal. We need a third person. Hmm, yeah, yeah. You might be on to something. Let, okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, have you been listening? Come this way. We won't tell Kim Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. We're set up right over here. Oh no, Princess Peach! I like, this is my favorite of the Peaches segments, by the way. Cooper Corpse presents the 64th Trivia Quiz Off. I'm your host, Mr. Hammer. Let's get right to it, hey? I'm gonna ask you 10 questions, and the contestant who gets the most right is our winner. Chris A, when you think you know the answer, okay, folks? The winner will get a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, and I gotta tell you, we're also giving prizes just for participating, so anyone will be a winner. That's just, uh, just, just the kind of show we are. Ready? Question one. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano Lava Island? All right, Princess Peach. That would be Lava Piranha. That's correct. Let's get on to the next question, okay, folks? Question two. Where did the mask have from Prison Star Spirit? All right, Princess Peach. That would be uh, Flower Fields. They're kind of giving us information on the next chapter also. Okay, next. Question three. What is the name of the scary Mario Monster living in Dreader Ruins? That would be uh, Chomp. That's correct. You still got a chance to make a comeback. Question four. How would you get to the Flower Fields? All right, Spiky Tom, we need in time. Um, by passing through the flower gate. Correct. That's correct. It's still anyone's game. Question five. What's the name of the person that King Bowser really loves? Well, it's really Princess Peach, but it's it's actually Princess Peach. All right, never mind. I'm not thinking of the right question. Careful now. Question six. What is the most deeply rare of flower fields? And that would be a flower. The next question is an easy one, folks. Question seven. What's the name of the initial clue guy around? And, uh, Peach would say Mario, but it's actually Bowser. Think carefully now. Question eight. What's the name of the ghost who lives around Fire for Forever Forest? Now it'd be Booze. Use your memory in this one. Question nine. What's the name of the area of Toad Town? That would be the Flower Garden. Now for the final question, stay calm everyone. Question 10, where is Peach's castle now? And that would be obviously on Bowser's castle. Now, and we won. I got an interesting bit of trivia, by the way. These two spikies can win the uh, the uh, base, the round. And I'll basically demonstrate, what I'll explain what happens then. So the 64 trivia quiz off is ended. It's a great success. The winners, well, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. 
Congratulations, Peach. Here's your prize. And this would be a jam and jelly. If one of these spikes, Koopa Trolls win it, they get the jam and jelly. It's a not commonly seen animation, but uh, yeah, they can get it, the jam and jelly. And we're, and thankfully this isn't like Thousand Year Door where enemies can, uh, can basically get it, I, it, can use items. Thank you for coming everyone, it's been grand. We'll see you up in the next trivia quiz off. we I have to put that jam and jelly in the uh, crate. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot. Here's your prize for participating. Sneaky parasol. This is a sneaky parasol. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you're a Princess Peach, imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. Heh, <laughs> but that's only a prize for participating, so what do you expect? Oh, uh, here comes trouble. Huh, what are you all doing? Hey, it looks fun. I'm gonna join in. What? You've already finished? Oh, of all the rotten luck. Ah! Princess Peach, what's she doing here? She sneaked out again? Grr! Yeah, you, take Princess Peach back to her room now! Yes, sir. Sorry, Princess Peach. No! I will not do that voice again. That's my favorite of the Peach segments, by the way. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you. No treasure in the world is more valuable than life. Be thankful you escaped. To think this island was put in terrible power because of the mentally of Bowser's men. I think it won't work out, okay? The eruption will subside and Lava Lava Island will be just the same as it used to be. But, ugh. Dear Mario, you have to find, you've saved five uh, star scripts now. Just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you power that will help you do along. Mario's star energy goes up to five. Mario can use Smooch to new star spirit power. With Smooch, you can restore Mario's HP. I have to go back to Star Haven for now, but if you need me, be call me anytime. I will be watching for you. I wish for your success. I know you'll save the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. Oh, I was so close. That treasure right there. And then I get saved and yelled by some sort of blooming great starfish. And I guess what we can, I am gonna do a quick badge re-evaluation. I'm gonna replace power jump with down jump. You might be wondering why I'm doing that. Uh, it's gonna be helpful in a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna do a quick badge readjustment. Um, I don't need ice power fight fire shield anymore. And uh, let's see what we can equip instead. I guess we can get a uh, FP plus. Um, we get FP plus, let me see what, let's see what else we can use. Well, let's keep power quick. We're, gonna, we're still gonna need, we're gonna need that for the next chapter, but um, yeah, I think that, I think we're pretty good. Um, we'll keep spike shield. Maybe we'll get refund and um, yeah, I think that's good. So um, now um, I think this is after chapter five, but um. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, so um, remember that bulb that um. First of all, we have to switch to sushi. But remember that bulb that uh couldn't give us the the seed earlier. We're gonna try to see if we can claim it from him. First of all, we're gonna go here. Volcano vase. That is the treasure that Colorado was looking for. So um. I'm, I'm honestly, it's honestly interesting how with Nintendo logic, that thing won't get, that thing will burn in the eruption, but I don't know. Oh, hello, how are you doing? What, you want that seed? Oh, I completely forgot you. I just gave it to a guy named Colorado or something. Sorry about that. I'm so generous. I have to give something to everyone. So we have to get that seed from Colorado. So I guess we can do a little trade off. I guess we can do a little bit of a trade-off before we uh, leave this area. So um, we don't have anything left to do here. So um, we might as well. Um, and we give him the volcano base. Mario, good heavens, it's a treasure. How on earth did you? Well, I suppose that's no consequence. Now you're giving it to me. 
You, you are giving it to me. Oh, glory, marvelous. Dear man, you can quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers. Yes, I suppose it's only proper that I give you this to you as a thanks. We get the magical seed. That's the last magical seed. A bulb gave it to me while I was off exploring. I'm sure it's quite a valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all. Now that I've got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success. What a stupendous expedition. It'll forever be recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, old boy, let's away. Back to Toad Town with us. I guess that's all we have left to do. So I guess what, I guess what we can do now is... um. Uh, I guess um what we'll do now is uh go back to Toad Town. Um we don't have a we I guess we are gonna have to go back to Toad Town normally because I haven't found any shortcuts. There is a shortcut to get to, back to this area, but it's gonna be a little bit later. I just call I'll say. Well well Mario boy, you're certainly took camera. Let's see if I can do it. Mm -hmm. Let me see, um you wanna go back to Toad Town? Yes. Alright, but this is why I equip Spike Shield. What a heady adventure. Adio adio lava lava I'm pretty Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. Whoa! Yeah, this is why I equipped Spike Shield. Seeing this asshole once again. <laughs> yes, I, I did it. I swam all the way. All right, Mario. Now I'm going to give you a beating you'll never. <laughs> I like this. What? Wait, where are you going? Wait, Mario, wait up! Come back here, you chicken! <laughs> Shoot! He just swims all the way back. Just imagine swimming all the way across the ocean. Like, um, I don't think that's actually doable. I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. He just swims, he just swims in the cutscene. Thank heavens, we've arrived. Now, Tuna Ferrying is one experience I shan't do again. Here's for the ride. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Cuba Village to relax. My, must, my wife must be here for you. Oh, you bet your ass she is. Perhaps our path will cross again in the future. Oh, my cheerio. But, uh, however, fish. Eh, eh, eh. I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Now, Mario, you're mine this time. This is why I got Spike Shield equipped earlier. So, um, yeah. So, um, he's gonna do one phase. This is the fourth fight with your troopa. Uh. Here it comes. You better be ready. <sighs> oh no! All that swim, my HP is almost gone. Well, I'll make up for my low HP. Um by using my skills. Check out this out, more power! I know all your fighting patterns now, Mario. See my gear, the spike, the wigs? You can't attack me now, I'm the smartest fighter alive. I can't be defeated, wah <laughs> And yeah, D-down jump and spike shield. That'll do, that'll do five damage. So I'm, you what in the, I didn't think you'd do that. Is that even legal? And we'll just do a squirt because Sushi cannot attack that. He also has two points of defense. So actually one point of defense. Gonna have stronger attack. However, one more D down jump should take him out. Mario well, almost a level up actually. Um. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, if I, I have wings, if I just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP. Then I probably wouldn't have beaten Mario in no time. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <sighs> oh, you can also you can also beat him. You can also hit him again. But um, I forgot that was, I actually forgot there was a hidden star piece in this area. I think it's around here. There it is. So yeah, we're in Toad Town. So I guess what we can do now is um. Hey, there's a uh, Goomaran Goombaria. What do they have to say? Oh, well, if it isn't Mario, how wonderful to see you. I came to go shopping today. It was a long walk to get here from Goomba Village. But we're seeing you. I was hoping to see Goombario. We can get him out. 
Young Mario, you're looking just fine, Archie. You better be careful not to be a burden on Mars adventure. Hey, no way I'm in a burden. I help out all the time. Well, well, your dear little Goomba is helping out the great Mario. I'm so proud. I'm going to tell you about Goomba. Mario, you must come over to our house again someday. Well, I always go there to look for Chuck Wismo. Come on, stop it, Mario. You're embarrassing me. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, don't be silly. Don't be a silly pumpkin. I'm not saying anything embarrassing at all. I just love that you, that's all. Can't be a mother be proud of her children. Oh, Mario, I seem like a kid. Yeah, 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 you guys ain't skilled, did. Shut up, Goombaria. Well, Mom, Goombaria's being mean. Mario, please take care of my brother, okay? Come on, we're in a hurry, Goombaria. Seriously, you're so obnoxious sometimes. What if he's a different party member? Like, what Like, what if we change out? Mario, I'm gonna see you again. How's my brother doing? I really worry about him. I'm following oh, his sister. So they do, they have different dialogue if Goombaria's not out. So, um... We're actually gonna get, uh, they're gonna get a couple, of, we're gonna start doing the taste tea recipes, so, um, we'll see you guys in a second. Oh, by the way, I forgot there was a star piece in this area. Thank God I remember, thank God I have the ice spy badge, but uh, anyway, either way, um, see you guys in a second. Wait a minute, I'm, another one in this area. I'm forgetting star pieces all the way up the ass, and I did two practice playthroughs of this, but, uh... Now we should be good. I'll cut back to Tasty. Alright, here's the first bat- here's the first Tasty recipe, which I have to go get the other ingredients in the shop, but, um... First of all, if we can play- if we can buy a Super Shroom and a Life Shroom, this is one of the ingredients we use, but it's the one I prefer to use. If we use a super shroom and a life shroom, just the ingredients I prefer to use. We had a shroom steak. And, um, yeah, pretty solid. Alrighty, and here's the next batch. If Here's the next batch of taste tea recipes. Uh, we'll start it with, um, if we just give these strange leaf as itself, but only after we get the cookbook. This is all, you can only get this particular recipe after, you can only do this combination after we get the cookbook, but, um, we had Dizzy Dial, and also, um, if we hit, if we get, if we use the dried fruit, which I do get another one of those off screen, and the Volt Shrum. We get a Thunder Rage, and also, if we, and on top of that, if we get a, uh, cake mix and a coconut, We get Cocoa Pop, and there's one more I'd like to get, so I'm gonna have to go back and get the ingredients. I'll see you guys in a second. Chuck Wismo! I was looking for a Goom Nut, and it led to Chuck Quizmo. I wasn't deliberately looking for him. Anyway, what's the price of some Grace Mario's status? That'd be Chet Rippo. I do not recommend using him at all. Because he, he'll get your HP after you beat me up, but decrease the next stat. But, um, I was actually going to get a Goom Nut. If we back to Taste Tea, if we, uh, combine a Super Shroom and a Goom Nut. This is one of the combinations we can use. This is the one I like to use the most. If we do all that, we get none other than... We get a Life Shroom. Anyway, so... There is one more um, tasty recipe we can possibly get at this point in the game. I don't know if I'm gonna get the ingredients. By the way, I lied about tasty recipes. We have two left to get that we can get the ingredients here. But the first of all, we're gonna get the we're gonna use the egg and the strange leaf. This recipe I could have gotten earlier, but I somehow forgot to get until reading the guide. We get the boiled egg, and um. The next uh, tasty recipe also involves getting out, getting, getting, recipe, getting greens out of the shop. So, um, by the way, I think these are the last two badges we can get from Ralph, but, um, yeah, we just got Mega, we got Mega Quake also, which is, like, the best, but, um, yeah, so we've got all the, uh, badges we can get from Ralph, um, 
So I guess we can up make the upgrade from Power Quake to Mega Quake. And we're gonna tear some shit up, let's just say. But um, we are just gonna we're just gonna get the ingredients out of the shop, and this is the last thing we'll do in this part. But um, first of all, we're gonna buy a mushroom. But let's also sell some recipes. We'll sell the boiled egg. I think I need a life serum, so we're not gonna sell that. We'll sell the Cocoa Pop. Sell the Dizzy Dial. We'll keep the Thunder Rage. We're gonna sell, we're gonna keep, we're gonna claim the, um, or claim the cake mix. Actually, I did not mean to claim the cake mix. Let me, let me, let me, let me rethink this. Let's check the cake mix, because we don't need that yet. We're gonna need it eventually, but we're not gonna need it yet. But let's just get the jam and jelly we got in chapter five. And uh, that's, uh, this is gonna be the last of the taste we will get in this part. All righties, so what we're gonna do next is none of them. We're gonna combine the mushroom and the jam and jelly. We got the Jelly Shrum, which is 5 HP and 50 FP. So that's about the last of the uh, tasty recipes we can get. That's about the last of the tasty recipes we can really get. This We have the ingredients too. So um, yeah, I'll cut it off for this part of Paper Mario. So next time Paper Mario, we're gonna do some more side quests before we go to chapter six. See you guys then.